I searched this place high and I searched this place low. And you know how many blocks I found here? Three. There have been three blocks on the end island for 11 years. And that, that is not acceptable. Hi. So I did what any reasonable person would do, and I put my entire overworld in the end. Yes, literally. I'm not, I'm not, I wish I was kidding. So if you want to see how I did it, stick around to the end of the video. I love how I literally have a mega portal, but I'm still always starving. Okay, so I think the first step is probably to take it down to this level here, and then from there we can start transforming the pillars. There are 10 pillars, so I'm thinking nether, jungle, cave, badlands, end city, ocean, mushroom, ice, plains, and desert, I think. Okay, now it's all on the same level. Ah, uh, did I just look at that guy? I think, well, I just definitely looked at that guy. Did I? Yep. Okay, we'll start with this big one, and we'll go easiest first, which is probably the nether. The issue is, I have to take an, a layer off of every single tower, otherwise they're going to be too thick, so... I hate obsidian already. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's make some space. Shove all of this in there. It's actually quite a lot. Okay, we got that layer off. Let's go get some materials. Oh, hello there. Oh, hey bud, come on me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, okay. Welcome to the end <laughs> of your life. Okay, we got some materials. Let's begin on the first tower. Okay, it's basically here. I've left the nether rack because we're going to use lava instead. So, and one there, and one there. At the top, we're going to use warped nylium, and then we'll bone meal it. And then we'll bone meal this to get a, um, uh, uh, there's supposed to be a tree there. So, oh, okay. So, okay, so, yeah, but no, no, we, we, I need, I need a bigger tree. Like, uh, not that one. That's what we're talking about. And I'll add some of my own leaves because I'm just that kind of guy. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, some fakery. Well, it was worth a try. Uh, yeah, so purple stained glass and fake nether portal. Okay, now I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try and put like a like a sort of nether fortress in here, sort of thing. So kind of like that, but I'm feeling like it maybe should come out the other side as well, like a like a sort of nether fortress crossroads. Can't forget the fences and some loot chests. There we are, tower one, nether, done. Next up, desert tower. This one's gonna be pretty easy, I think. I'm just gonna theme it off of the desert temple. Let's get some of this and some of this, and that is literally all we need. Actually, before we start, I just realized panes are gonna be a lot better for this. Yeah, that works better. Okay, and I think, I think we are done. Well, like, we're, we're done with this one. I mean, we've got, like, eight more to do or, or something. Okie dokie, jungle tower. Let's see how we get on with these materials. Oh, and also, if I remember rightly, I'm pretty sure I have an unusual amount of spawners here. Ah, yes, there we are. There's one. And now I'm going to take some of this mossy stone. And if only I had another one around. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, let's take some of these spider webs too and just start placing some stuff in a random order like this. You see? Like this. Okay, and here I'm going to make like a little uh, jungle dungeon. Yeah, jungle dungeon. Jungle dungeon. Ah, okay, brilliant. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, now we got this big boy over here. And this is going to be the cave tower. I don't have a better name for it. Put some diamonds in there, put some lapis in there, put some iron in there, put some redstone in there, put some Kalani in there, and cave tower. All right, now we're going to make the bridges. They're going to connect to each other from about this height, and they're all going to be themed from the tower that they're connected to. It's going to be this height because, um, well, these towers over here are, are tiny, and we can't really go above them. So that's the height. Okay, this is actually very annoying to make look natural. I'm just going to gonna use some slabs and then some walls, and we'll put some on the bottoms. And there we are. Desert bridge. Yeah, desert. Ow, desert bridge. Okay, so yeah, it, it's not the best to walk along, but it does the job. So we're going to come through here and then we're going to go to... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's actually the wrong height. I am almost certain that it's definitely the wrong height. I'm going to have to... That's fine. It's fine. We just, we just raise it. Hey, just... Okay. Ah! Okay, they're actually scaring me now. Okay, that's now raised to the right height. Let's continue. And put some of this... Uh, black stuff. Hey, that actually looks quite good. Okay, I think I've figured out a pretty consistent bridge design. So yeah, we can carry on making towers now. And to finish off the cave tower, we're actually going to put a geode in here that we can walk through. And put some of these sparkly things. And to finish this one off, let's put a lush cave like right there. Digging through an obsidian tower takes way longer than you'd think.
Lush cave, yeah, lush cave. I, it's actually a pretty good lush cave. I'm I'm surprising myself quite a lot today. Anyways, what have we got next? Like a Badlands or something? Okay, Badlands Tower. This is going to be interesting because... Yep, there we go. Just as I thought. They're just going to keep taking these blocks, aren't they? Okay, so I'm actually going to have to replace all of these down here. Bad land, more like bad tower. Oh, I did my best, all right. Let's make a bridge. I need an end tower, so I'm gonna take yours. Say goodbye to your house, I guess. <laughs> Not that I can really make fun of them. I, I still don't even have a house. But who needs a house when you have pointless Minecraft builds that you'll never use? <laughs> am, I, am I right? I went to the ocean to collect some ocean blocks for an ocean tower, but the guardian said, nah, sorry, and gave me mining fatigue instead. Side note, why a spoon? Anyway, I realized I'd have to defeat them if I wanted those blocks. So I went fishing, which was way more dangerous than fishing ever should be. But anyways, introduced producing a puffer fish. I divided this guy equally into thirds and drank him to give me underwater breathing. The logic here is they can only give me mining fatigue if they're alive. Ocean blocks? Check. Next up, I needed materials for a mushroom and an ice tower. I found a small island and took everything. Spoiler alert, the ice tower is going to be embarrassingly simple because ice is embarrassingly simple. Ocean, mushroom, and ice tower, done. Now, this big boy. Plains biome. I, I left the biggest tower for the easiest biome. I'm, I'm lazy. But first, something needs to happen with this tower. It's just so boring. Yeah, it's just something like a little ice cave in here or something. Okay, so to finish this one off, I'm actually going to grab some quartz and make some quartz stairs. I, and, I, and I think we can do something with that. Yeah, words. Go words. Love words. Yeah, kind of. It kind of looks like snow. And then if we do a sort of thing like this sort of thing, it kind of looks like S snow, kind of. See how, see how it kind of looks like snow? No, no, me neither. I mean, there's only so much you can do with ice, really. Okay, so in here, I'm going to add like a little mine shaft. And um, I actually don't think that's positioned very well. Ah! Yeah, now I'm going to change the position. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so to finish this off, I think we just need some flowers and a beehive, probably. I'm going to put a beehive in there, because uh, apparently flowers don't grow with bone meal in the end. So there's a bee. Where's your hive? That's it. Just go into your hive. Yes? No. Oh, beehive, will you? <laughs> Behave. But like, but, but like, yes? Yes! Okay, we got some flowers up here now, and we're going to put this dude right here. Hello? Are you alive? I think I can hear him. Well, listen, I wish you all the best uh, living in a completely different dimension. Okay, now that we've got the basic design of all of them, let's build the bridges between. Yep. All right, let's do this. Uh, uh, <laughs> firstly, how? Secondly, how did they do that? So these guys are up here thinking they can take some of these blocks as well, but they can't. It's Enderman proof. In case you don't know, Enderman can only pick up the side blocks. So if you make a side block, a block they can't pick up, they can't get them. <laughs> Uh, so, but yeah, bridges. So I'm going to be lazy and just put another mine shaft in here, but it has a twist because it's in a different tower and it has spider webs. Yeah, you see? Completely original. Completely original. Okay, we got mushroom, ice, and plains biome left. Let's speed run some bridges. Hey, that looks kind of nice. Okay, one more left. Ah, these bridge haters just won't leave me alone. <laughs> Another mine shaft. Okay, there we are. Do need to cut these vines down though, because that looks weird. Moment of truth. Is it a perfect circle? Hey, that's a pretty good circle. That's a pretty good circle. Okay, so speaking of circles, now we've got to make a circle all the way around. And I'm thinking I'm thinking up we'll make it out of obsidian since we have so much obsidian now. It's ridiculous. Okay, circle's looking good. Now we got to uh, blow this all up. Yeah, we've got to blow it all up. That's it. We're blowing everything up. But we're only blowing up everything inside the circle. Once we've done that, we can place black concrete inside it to make it look like it's deeper than it actually is. And then we're going to um, uh, put my whole world in the middle. Um... Yep. Okay, I need more gunpowder because this farm's just not enough. So basically what we're going to do is just um, extend it just like this. Yeah, you see, I, I, it looks impressive, but half of it doesn't work because I hate working with cats. But that's okay. We'll just AFK for longer. Okay, as much as I love blowing things up, I don't want to blow up my beacon. So we're going to move it up here. 
and then start blowing up things. If you're wondering why I didn't make a TNT machine, it's because I am not that good at this game. This is about the best I can do with redstone. Oh, I only lit two of them. No? Okay, no. No, that's definitely blowing up. Okay, well, well, we've made like a dent. We just need to make like 25 more dents. And then I'm just really hoping it doesn't go near my towers. In hindsight, probably should have done this before I made those towers. They're tough on the inside, but on the... Uh, yeah, please don't. On the outside, they're very fragile. I can't hear myself think. Yeah, you know what? From here on out, I'm going to mine it by hand. Okay, so I'm going to go down in twos like this. Just like that, I think. Why do Endermen always have to hang around wherever you're building? Okay, nice. That's looking good. Back to blowing stuff up, I guess. Tell you what, mining Endstone is not easy. Even with haste, it's just so slow. So slow. Okay, now we just gotta get rid of these loose blocks that the TNT didn't explode. And we're done. I desperately need food. Okay, now we're gonna be replacing all of the end stone with black concrete inside of that hole we just dug. And the hole's not perfect, but it, it, trust me, it doesn't need to be. Because black concrete is so black that it doesn't even, you can't even see the shape. It, it all just blends into one color. The only issue I have is the recipe for black concrete is sand, gravel, and an ink sack. So I'm gonna need a lot of squid. And I'm hoping there are enough squid around here to where I don't need to make a squid farm. Aha, our first victims. Okay, so that's, that's six, six. I just got six from one squid. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh, there are so many of them. It's only when you stop to realize how many squids are in this game that you actually realize how many squids are in this game. There are an abundance of squids in Minecraft. Three minutes I've been looking for squid and we've almost got two sacks, stacks, two stacks. But we've got more than two sacks. Okay, nearly two stacks of sacks. Let's see how much concrete we can make out of this. Yeah, see, now I'm a man that really appreciates the sheer quantity of squids in this game. When you really open your eyes to it, they are everywhere. So I guess the best place to get gravel is the nether, right? Yeah, there's usually a whole bunch of gravel. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Gravel, sand, sack. No? Ah, okay, so sand, gravel, sack. No? Ah, 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 wait. Sack, black dye. Black dye first. Sand, gravel, black concrete powder. Uh, that's not, uh, no, no, that's not what, that's not what I want, that's not what I need. Don't, you aren't gonna do this, are you? Don't do this. Don't, okay. Okay, so apparently we place it in water or something like this. Aha! Okay, black concrete, there we go. Look, look how black that is, that is black. Also, I gotta do that with every block. Can't I just, no. Okay, but can't I just do this? No. Okay, not gonna lie, didn't foresee this as something that I'd have to do. Hang on a second, I can just place all of the black concrete powder and then just run water over it when I'm finished. Oh, this is going to be easy. Catastrophe avoided. <laughs> okay, let's see the dent that I can make with the concrete powder that we've got so far. It is just so unbelievably black. I mean, look at this. You can't even see where one block ends and another begins, which is exactly what we want, because then it'll give the illusion that the hole is a lot deeper than it actually is. I love me some fakery. All right, first layer done. This is, uh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Okay, we placed a load of powder. Now let's um, let's see if my water theory will work. Well, that worked like a charm, and of course, of course, I would run out of materials there, wouldn't I? So basically the plan is here that we're going to build a sphere in the center, cover it with glowing item frames, map out my entire world and place those maps in the item frames to literally make my entire world. But Kalani, you can't place a 2D topographical map of Minecraft on a 3D sphere that technically has four sides since they're made out of blocks. That would mean that only one side would look normal and the rest would look- Listen, I never said it was going to be easy, okay? <laughs> I never said it was going to be easy. Oh, 
All right, let's 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 get some item frames, yeah? Okay, so I actually already have a ton of item frames from uh, my last video, so that's good. So I guess I'll just, I'll just take these. Yeah, I'm actually just going to leave those there to despawn. I have literally not even used one yet. I am that good at this game. Okay, so for a glowing item frame, which, by the way, we need so that it doesn't glitch out, because sometimes when you put maps into an item frame, there's a, there's a weird lighting glitch. So a glow behind that fixes that issue. So sadly, more squids are going to have to die for this build. And I have calculated that we are going to need the precise amount of a whole load. A whole load of glow squid sacks. Where are they? There's usually a couple here, but I'm not seeing any. Aha! Okay, so now, I think, yeah, glowing item frames. Okay, we have 14. Uh, that's not enough. Okay, so my plan is to just keep flying away until more spawn and then, oh! Man, squids have got to be, honestly, one of the easiest uh, things to farm in this game. Okay, we have 45. Let's just see how far that gets us, because I'm still not entirely sure this is physically possible. So let's just double check that this is possible before I really commit to this and commit mass genocide among the glowing squid community. A community I would rather be on good terms with, considering the fact that I have already killed a lot of other squids. But the ghast community, I, I don't care. Okay, we got, we got a three by three area. Okay, total of nine. Let's get nine maps, put them down and work from there. Now, as far as maps go, maps are kind of expensive. One compass is one map, and one compass is like a whole load of iron. Anyway, it's too much is the point, and I'm not that rich. So instead, uh, yeah, we're going to trap a couple cartographers and uh, make them sell me maps on the cheap. Okay. All right, guys, you ready for this? You just hop in there. There we are. And... Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty good for emeralds right now, I think. What? Uh, sorry. Sorry, what? Oh, I see. Right, he's picking up the, uh, the totems. Okay, and he also had my elytra on. Okay, dude's just straight up stealing from me. Okay, this is actually not going to plan. Um, please don't burn quite yet. Okay, moment of truth. There we are. One map for one emerald. Brilliant. Now we'll just buy a whole bunch of these. Okay, so we're going to start from the portal as a reference point and okay, this is going to be annoying. Okay, yeah, the portal is going to be a reference point and we're going to work out from there. So basically from the portal in every direction is going to be about 35 maps, which is a lot um, of maps. Okay, let's start from here. We're just going to go in a straight line in this direction for about 30 to 35 maps. Oh, this is going to be complicated, isn't it? At least they're numbered. At least at least we got that going for us. All right, let's see how far that gets us. Just placing that one row of maps took 15 minutes. That is not okay. Okie dokie, so now we're going one map to the right and doing the same thing. Uh, I think it's this way, right? Okay, so does this see this is the hard part. I don't think that's a match. Is it? No, no, it's, de it's definitely not a match um, And neither is that. Oh wait, hang on a sec. Okay. All right. Okay. I get it. I understand Oh, this is just one massive puzzle that I should never have started. What? Okay. All right. That, that, okay. All right. Yes, that works that Also works. Okay. It's it, you know, it, it's, it, we're getting there. Yeah, to be honest I am getting that that feeling of massive regret right now. I can I can feel the regret building. I'm not sure I should have done this, and there may have been a reason no one else has. Oh, but then I see how cool it looks, and then I think, no, definitely continue. Well, I sure did continue. That's right, I continued for another six days. Yes, six whole days of mapping, and you know what? Getting all the materials and actually mapping out the world was the easy part. The hard part was making all of the maps meet up on a 3D surface. I'm not going to bore you with the details about why that doesn't work, but it just doesn't, all right? Try it for yourself and you'll see what I mean. Actually, don't try it. Don't try it. Save six days of your life. I mean, even outside of map making, I was having a hard time, but I was getting there. Slowly but surely, day by day, map by map, I was getting there. I was actually doing it. My PC was literally dying in my render distance on two chunks, but I was doing it. I don't understand how they even do that. How do they get inside the towers? But it makes no sense. It was at this point that I had to make up my own part of the world by cloning other maps. And I think I did a pretty good job considering, actually. I mean, sure, the coastline is basically a straight line, but it's better than nothing, right? Just don't look at it too hard. My leather collecting strategy for the item frames was basically flying around, taking it from horses because I have an unusual amount of horses where I live. And I was averaging about a stack of leather every seven minutes and averaging about five frames per second. But was it worth it? Uh, yeah, it was worth it. Look at that beauty. Okay, so I, I genuinely think that if I, if I fill in this last part, 
Ow, my, my PC will actually die. So my plan is, I mean, you, you ever seen those globes at school where like, you know, one fourth of the globe is cut out and you can see the different layers and then the center of the earth? Kind of, kind of something like that. These frames are something else. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's finish mapping. So basically, at the bottom, I'm just placing like the same, like the same two maps everywhere. I'm just cloning the same map. I mean, who's gonna see it? It's down at the bottom. Okay, don't judge me. Okay, so yeah, cool, but also really boring. Let's add some ores around here and different things. And then in the center, I think uh, maybe a geode. I think that would look pretty cool, like the center of the earth. Wow, these frames are absolutely unbearable. What? What? How did I not know that was a thing? Okay, nice. Now I just need some more crystals, uh, but I'm pretty sure I took them all, so we're gonna have to wait for them to grow. Okay, cool. Let's add some more texture on the sides. Prepare yourself for satisfaction and lag. Oh boy, that was worth it. Okay, there are literally just a few random maps left. Okay, all the maps are done. I don't know whether to celebrate or cry. Maybe a bit of both. Okay, since we can't place any more item frames in case my PC explodes, I'm gonna place some blue concrete down here and hopefully that'll blend in. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, just don't look at it. Again, don't look at it. Okay, final touches. Last stretch. Okay, we're gonna put some clouds. Ah, fine. Okay, I'm forced to release these sheep from captivity because there's physically not enough grass in their pen. Those clouds, though. Am I right? My hopes were not high with the clouds, but I think they actually turned out pretty well. Okay, I think the final thing we need to do is uh, just texture the sides here because it looks a bit too clean. This circle's a bit too clean for my liking, and we have a load of obsidian, so we might as well. Besides the fact we're getting two frames per second, it looks pretty good. Okay, final touches, uh, cleaning up everything that the Enderman destroyed. I really don't like Enderman. Now that all that's left is uh, to spawn the Ender Dragon. So um, yeah, you seriously took the flowers. Okay, just pop that there and uh... Hold up, H hold up, whoa. What's happening? To why Why are the towers, why are the, ah, uh, that's not good. No, okay, so I'm guessing most of the map, yeah, yeah, most of the maps are gone. Um, <laughs> stupid dragon can't even properly perch. Silly, that's not how you put. oh, okay, right, uh, it still works though. I'm kidding, that was a backup world. I am never spawning the ender dragon ever again. Well, we did it, we literally put our world in the end and sure haters are gonna say, all right, Kalani, sure, it looks cool, but it's a bit over the top, wouldn't you say? I mean, what practical use does it actually serve in the real world beyond mere aesthetics? And I'll say back, Beyond mere aesthetics. There is nothing beyond mere aesthetics, pal. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll say back. <clears throat> All right, see ya.